Well, hey guys, yet another month flew by. I don't know why I did that, like wings. Anyways, tomorrow's July 1st, so in today's video, I'm gonna share with you all my monthly favorites. I know you guys love these. Give this video a thumbs up if you like favorites videos, monthly favorites, I upload them monthly and I have them all saved in a playlist. So if you want to check out prior months, by all means, binge on. All right. This month, I have been trying out a new hand soap by Dove that I think is pretty good, actually. Um, this product I saw at Kroger. It is their Deep Moisture. It's a hand soap, and I didn't realize, is Dove actually cruelty-free, or is it one of those we say we're cruelty-free, but behind the scenes we're not? Comment below. It's a Unilever company, uh, so I'm not so sure. But anyways, it's got the bunny on it. <laughs> Uh, this is a hand soap with a very mild uh, conditioning surfactant. It has cocomidal propyl betaine, which is what is in a lot of tear-free shampoos. Now you can become allergic to cocomidal propyl betaine, but if you're not, it is a very gentle cleansing ingredient, uh, which is what, you know, in addition to uh, conditioners, if I didn't already mention, you'll find it in baby shampoos. Um, all right. Um, it also has sodium lauryl oil isothionate, another uh, mild cleansing agent. I've been pretty happy with this. It does have fragrance, and the fragrance doesn't linger behind on your hands. Uh, but what I like about this is it rinses off well. I find a lot of hand soaps, you have to be careful. They get so into the foam and all of these like thickeners and whatnot that they end up leaving kind of a film behind on the hands. And if you're not careful to rinse that off, boy, it can really be a source of ongoing hand irritation. As a reminder, if you wash your hands, make sure to take your rings off when you wash your hands because soap and water get trapped up underneath the ring and then the ring rubs back and forth and you're basically creating a little nidus of irritation there and that can just flare out a whole bad hand, hand dermatitis. So make sure with all the hand washing that we do, you take off your rings before you wash your hands and then make sure your hands are dry before you put the rings back on. So that is that, I've enjoyed it. You know, if you saw it in your grocery store and were wondering, is this good? Yeah, I think it's pretty good, although it does have fragrance. So if you're allergic to fragrance, you would have to avoid it. But one thing I don't rec recall mentioning that often or, you know, en enough is that truthfully, there's nothing special about hand soap in comparison to body wash. They're often very, very similar and they're just marketed to you differently. But truthfully, hand hygiene, it really doesn't matter because you, it's really the action of rubbing back and forth and, you know, getting all surfaces and the amount of time that you spend doing it. You know, I always tell people to sing the alphabet. That's typically an adequate amount of time, but the ingredients are less important. And in fact, you wanna make sure that you're not using a hand soap that's overly drying, that strips the moisture barrier too much. Most hand soaps, they try and incorporate some kind of moisturizing ingredient to reduce that, uh, like this Dove one. But body washes are really just another form of hand wash. And I bring that up because I've been using a body wash that I've talked about on here before. I've been using this Aveeno Restorative Skin Therapy Body Wash to remove water-resistant sunscreen from the legs. And it also works really well as a hand wash. You definitely can use body washes as hand washes, hand wash. Um, I mean, if you look at the ingredients, they're not too strikingly different. And I would say this is actually a lot better for people who are dealing with dry, irritated hands as a hand wash to keep in the bathroom. It's got oats in it, which are rich in humectants, but also have a natural kind of cleansing action to them. And it too has that same surfactant, cocomidal propyl betaine for, um, for cleansing as well as a alkyl glucoside, coco glucoside. Uh, so don't sleep on trying a body wash uh, as a hand soap. Likewise, you can just use, you know, Dove came out with this fancy hand soap, but their beauty bar, the fragrance free one, you can use it as a hand soap. It's more about the amount of time that you spend lathering, getting all the surfaces, getting, you know, around the nail beds and, and whatnot than, than the actual ingredients in the soap. Um, you know, there are antibacterial hand soaps out there, but the studies show that they actually don't end up reducing transmission of 
colds and flu viruses and whatnot any better than just basic soap, basic cleansing. So it's not really about the ingredients in the cleanser. Um, where the ingredients matter though is that many can be drying and irritating. So choose one that's gentle. And I definitely recommend this. As a body wash, this is fantastic as well. It does a good job removing sunscreen from the body. This product along with the restorative skin therapy oat, oat repairing cream has a long name. Both of those products Avino tested on cancer patients undergoing uh, cancer treatment. And as part of that treatment, you end up experiencing a lot of dryness and irritation. The skin becomes very sensitive. These products were well tolerated on those individuals. So, you know, it's very good for sensitive skin. Anyways, I love this and I wanted to give it a shout out. All right, this product is a hero product. I've really been loving it. It's the Vitamin X Serum from Regimen Labs. This is an antioxidant serum that I just put on first thing in the morning to the face, allow it to absorb fully, and then apply sunscreen. It has L-ascorbic acid, it has vitamin E, and it has ferulic acid, and those three things together may help the vitamin C stay more stable, may help in allowing it to penetrate into the skin better. But this product has more than just that. It's got a variety of other antioxidants. It has genistein, which is derived from soy, and it also has resveratrol, another antioxidant. Both of these applied topically to the skin can help reduce the burden of oxidative stress generated from exposure to ultraviolet radiation from the sun, infrared radiation from the sun, as well as visible light from the sun and from you know, other sources. And those things contribute to not only free radical generation that leads to skin aging, but also drives a lot of persistent, uh, stubborn hyperpigmentation. Uh, anyways, this product I've been really impressed with. It took some time for me to start noticing an improvement, but I definitely see an improvement in uh, discoloration, overall skin tone, skin luminosity. With this, my skin's just smoother and less prone to irritation since I've been using this. It's very good. I've been really impressed with this brand as a whole, um, and I'm not sponsored by them or anything. Um, and you know, I bought these myself, but check out my review on this brand. A lot of you guys have tried this, and this, you, you know, you've echoed my sentiments about liking it, uh, at least from the comments. So definitely check this out. As the, Best product from that line, in my opinion, and I've really been happy with it. All right, speaking of sunscreen, I have two here, of course. Um, this is a, actually a moisturizer with sunscreen. It's new from Cetaphil. It's their Daily Facial Moisturizer SPF 35. Now, if you're somebody who classifies yourself as combination skin, meaning you have oily skin, but you also have dryness. See, here's the thing. A lot of people are still under the misconception that if you have oily skin, a lot of the skin barrier repair needs are just not there. You don't quite need a moisturizer. That is not true. Uh, you do want a good moisturizer if you have oily skin because oiliness does not mean barrier function. Uh, and moisturizers are aimed at helping to reduce water loss out of the skin and improve barrier recovery and barrier function. Ultimately, if you have oily skin, that's going to help you out down the road. A lot of people though with oily skin, they don't like the feel of moisturizers that are you know, heavy, greasy, uh, because of their own natural oils. They mix with the moisturizer, it just doesn't feel good or it may make them look shiny. Try this out, it's very good. Uh, SPF 35, it's a chemical sunscreen, so there's no cast with this. And it's actually pretty thick, pretty thick cream. You could actually use this as a hand cream if you wanted to. I mean, it's really nice and moisturizing, but doesn't leave a greasy, sticky residue. Love it. They really did a good job with this product. It's free of fragrance, um, and it doesn't have oxybenzone, which is that chemical filter that a lot of people develop irritation to. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that with this. And uh, yeah, I've just really been happy with this as a daily facial moisturizer. And then the other sunscreen that I've really been enjoying using, I've talked about this in many videos before, um, and it, I reviewed it in my Aven sunscreen video. It's the Aven High Protection SPF 50 Tinted Compact. So this is a tinted sunscreen. It actually has been shown in studies to offer good protection against those pro-pigmenting wavelengths of visible light. Um, and I really like I put it on like before I film because it helps me not look as washed out. It's a little too dark for my skin tone, but for those of you who use sunless tanning products, 
um, or bronzer, try this out because it does kind of give a nice natural tanned look to the skin. If that is, you know, if you use sunless tanner, a lot of them are just too irritating for the face, plus they don't offer any sun protection. This is a nice thing to incorporate for the SPF as well as the visible light protection. And the compact, you know, the little sponge sits in there and then the lid lifts up, you have a mirror and then you get quite a bit of product in here. Now I use regular sunscreen on my face, a full base layer, and I just kind of use this for cosmetic purposes and for touching up. But I really like the coverage that this gives. It actually does give pretty nice coverage. Uh, and so I think it's a good option for those of you who are looking for something that offers a little bit more color and it doesn't have that orangey look like their liquid mineral sunscreen, their liquid tinted mineral sunscreen. It's not orangey like that, um, but it is still a little bit too dark for me, but I still like it because as I said, when I get on here to film videos with the artificial lighting, it can make me look washed out. So I've really been happy with, with this. <clears throat> And you're probably so sick of hearing about this because it makes an appearance in a lot of videos. But seriously, I love it. It is a Skin Smart Antimicrobial Spray. They, it looks like they came out with new packaging or a new label. This is Hypochlorous Spray. Reduces the burden of bacteria that break down sweat, contribute to body odor, and can lead to acne-like breakouts, folliculitis. Um, and if you have eczema, that bacteria can flare your eczema. Anyways, this is something that's great because you can spray it on the skin and you don't have to wash it off or anything. It's safe to leave on, it's non-irritating. And I mean, it just converts to saline. And uh, so I highly recommend it, it's great. I love using it in the summertime because when you get really sweaty and you're sweating a lot, this is a nice way to cool off because you spray this on yourself and it helps with the evaporation of sweat, but it also helps keep you from not smelling bad. I love it. I like to carry it with me and I put it on the skin anywhere where there's like skin on skin contact. I just like it to kind of freshen up. I know that probably sounds like TMI, but you know when you're just, I mean here we're constantly sweating, especially this time of year, it's like super hot. Um, simply the act of going from a car into the indoors, that transient bit of time where you are out of the air conditioning, you will just be covered in sweat and get very sweaty. And as the day goes on, you're gonna smell. Uh, it's gonna contribute to body odor. No matter what antiperspirant you have on, uh, it will, you know, it will cause problems. And that sweat is irritating on the skin. If you have hydradenitis, it can really aggravate that. So give this a try. It's, it's good to, you know, you can't constantly be bathing. Uh, it's an, it, not convenient to do that. But you, if you live here or somewhere else hot and sweaty, you, you will sweat a lot and that can aggravate your skin and lead to irritation plus body odor. Try that out, it's great. Now, if you spray it on the face in the middle of the day, it is gonna remove your sunscreen, so you've got to be mindful of that, but it is a nice, it is a nice thing for the body, and it's also great on your hands to clean them. All right, those are the products, skincare products. This outfit, this thing that I'm wearing now, I as a favorite, this thing. This shirt, it's a pullover, from Amazon and it's UPF 50. Um, you guys know I love the bay leaf jacket that I have, but I also found this recently on Amazon and I really liked it. It holds up well in the wash. It hasn't like unraveled or anything. I'm not sure what the brand is. This kind of looks like, it kind of looks like the, it reminds me of an insignia at a ski resort or something like Vail. You know how Vail has that? I used to live in Colorado, that's why I know that has that little insignia, it kind of reminds me of that. Anyways, UPF 50, they have other colors if you don't like this um, bubblegum pink. <laughs> uh, it's got a hood, and the hood is roomy, which I appreciate, I don't like a tight hood, I think I've talked about that before, and it has the hand covers. Um, and it, like I said, it holds up well in the wash, and it's lightweight, I can wear it comfortably, here outside, not get overheated. It breathes really well. If you are thinking about going camping or something like that, uh, hiking, and you need something like this, definitely recommend it. It's very comfortable and I love it. So wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I will also link the bay leaf one down below because I wear that thing all the time. I think that was a favorite last month. Still really loving that. 
All right, so that's everything skincare. I do have a few lifestyle favorites. First of all, um, I did activate Audible for those of you who don't watch my vlogs. I did get back into Audible and a book that I listened to this past month is called We Are Called to Rise. I recommend it, it's very good. Initially, I was kind of annoyed with the readers. I, I didn't like their voice, but I upped the speed and then they became more easier to tolerate and I really got into the story. It is a story that takes place in Las Vegas, but it really doesn't have anything to do with the casinos or anything like that. It's a really good story. And if you or someone you know deals with post-traumatic stress disorder, I think this story you know, will resonate with you because the characters, many of them appear to be going through or show some of the symptoms of that and how it impacts their lives and the lives of people around them. Very good book and I really enjoyed it. I will say the ending, while I liked the ending, I did feel like there were some just kind of unresolved things, <laughs> but otherwise it was good and I'm really enjoying it. So I've got that that I just finished um, this month and I got another book on Audible, so you'll hear about that next month. And I'm also reading an actual book book uh, that I'm really enjoying as well and I'm almost finished with. So you should hear about that next month. So those are the books. Haven't really watched any movies at all or anything on Netflix. I need to cancel Netflix because I'm not getting my money's worth. Um, but yeah, no, nothing else that I've really been consuming. I've been pretty busy um as per usual but yeah um really enjoyed those and audible has been great i've been enjoying listening to it like when i get ready in the morning and when i like in the car so it's really convenient in that sense and um i got a little speaker bluetooth speaker in my fabfit fun box so i've been using that to listen to the audible book from my phone all right the next is a food update and rx bar came out with a vegan protein bar. RX bars are those bars that are like dates and peanut butter or whatever. They're protein kind of granola snack bars, but they have egg whites in them, which are not vegan. So they came out with a vegan one. I was so excited to try it. It is horrible, 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 horrible. I'm saving you guys. I mean, I do not recommend these. They are terrible. It has dates, cashews, pea protein, oats, chocolate, natural flavors, almond protein, and salt. Um, it's super, super chalky. Like it, it's so chalky that when you're chewing it, it's like your mouth gets sucked dry. I do not recommend these. They are not very good as I kind of alluded to. And you could easily make something like this yourself uh, with just, I don't know, protein powder and peanut butter would taste better <laughs> than these. They're really chalky. So I was bummed about that because I was looking forward to trying the plant-based version. Speaking of eating and FabFitFun, this came in my FabFitFun box, this little tray. And it's meant probably for like putting, putting stuff on, like setting stuff like jewelry on, but I've been eating off of this. And I'm kind of interested to get more of these. It's The brand is loveTTM.com. And what I like about this shape of a plate for eating off of is it kind of gives me the old school TV dinner vibes, like this little tray. I don't know. I just think it's like really cute, like or going through like a cafeteria line or something. I really enjoyed eating off of this as a plate. So I'm going to look into getting some more of these. It's like some kind of, what is this? Mel not melamine, but whatever the material, the plastic is that um, outdoor utensils are made out of, outdoor plates are made out of, that's what this is. But I think it's intended as like, like a tray to display stuff, but I'm, I've been eating off of it. And it washes up well in the dishwasher. Um, I've been, you know, washing it consistently in the dishwasher. I'm, I do not like doing dishes by hand, so <laughs> if I needed to wash that by hand, then I don't know, <laughs> probably wouldn't. Anyways, so yeah, that is everything I have loved this month. Comment below, what have you guys been enjoying? Have you been having a fun summer? Have you done anything fun, new, exciting? Let me know in the comments. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.